Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to the channel. So guys, last time we have discussed do while loops. In that we have seen few examples. Today we are going to see do until. Rightly I have saved this session for do until because do until loop is divided into two types. We will see the differences also. So basically what do until does is, it will only execute the loop if the condition is false. So do while is opposite of that that we have already seen in the previous session. So let us open do while do loops now. So this one I have created the last time, 9D do loops. Let me open this. Already we have seen the agenda. So the agenda was learning do while and do until loops. And uh, the basic uh, definition of do loops is uh, to execute the block of code until the condition becomes true or false. True in the case of uh, do while and false in the case of do until. And the main point to be noted here, we will not be aware the number of times the code will be executed. For for loops, it is certain that from this limit to that limit, code will be executed. Okay, uh, let us open, uh, let us see the examples of do loops. Let me expand this. Let me enter the code. How exactly do until loop works? So let us see one simple example. So if the condition is false, the loop will be executed, right? So let me take the value of variable here. So I'll just take the value value equal to value equal to like let's say value is five, right? So I want to execute the do loop do until let's say I less than ten, right? And I want to execute, I want to increment the value of i. So i equal to i plus 1 always. And I want to, I want to see what, what values of y will be printed, right? So I will take a temporary variable. So temp equal to temp ampersand. I'll just write a message. The value of i. Is and I'll just write a colon of ID. Is I'll write a colon space and I'll increment the value of i. I want to see what and all the value of i is printed. Uh, so I'll uh, end the loop. Let us uh, print the value of temporary variables. Right? Simply what I'm taking here, I have uh, taken the value of uh, okay. I have given the value here and I have executed i. So it should be the value again here. Sorry for that. Value. So value equal to value plus 1. So I have so. <laughs> as you can see, I always use i. So again, I have used i here instead of the value. The value of a value. <laughs> So the value of a value variable that makes sense the value of a value variable so um, as you can see here we have taken the value is 5 initially and we are checking the condition in the initial uh, uh, as soon as we enter the loop we are checking the value the value equal to value plus 1 we are declaring temp, value, temp variable so that uh, we can see we can concatenate all the values and I want the value to be in another variable. So okay, let me I want I want to concatenate to VBLF also. So that we can see clearly what value of the variable is printed each and every time. So let me save this as a, save as do while first example. Sorry, do until do use camel case do until I'll write type one dot VBS 
Uh, let me save this. So guys, let us take it rather than because it will only print the value is um, if the condition is false, it will only print that. So let me just omit this greater than 10. Let me just save this. Let me uh, open to until here. I'll just type in, put it in the middle. Uh, I'll just expand this for you guys to see. Okay. As you can see here, the value of the variable is 6 because from uh, from 10 we started to type. No, from 5 we started to type 5. We increment the value, so value is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And why the 11 is printing? If you can see the code, I'll, uh, this is the output 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And after 10, if the i is greater than 10, the loop executes once. So I'll show you that also. Let me minimize the screen. Mm, yeah. Uh, let me open the code. As you can see here, when the value becomes 6, right? 6 is greater than 10. No? False. So, uh, so 5 is greater than 10 first. Then the value becomes value plus 1, then 6. The 6 is printed here. So it comes so on. So when it comes to 9, so 9 is greater than 10, false, right? So again it prints. So now, 10 is greater than 10, false, right? So the value becomes incremented here. So we can, if if that is confusing, let us take value plus 1 in another line, right? So instead of printing the value plus 1 at the beginning, let us print at the end. So it might make things easier. So let me save this example. Let me minimize this. Let this. Let me close this. Let me double click the do until type one. So now it will be, it will make more sense. So let me expand the output for you. Now you can see the value of variable is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten is greater than ten until that the condition is uh, ten is not greater than ten. Ten is equal to ten. So condition becomes false. So when it comes to 11, 11 is greater than 10, then, then the condition becomes true. Do until loop doesn't iterate anymore. Let me minimize this. So let me close this. This is the first type in do until. There is another type. Let me explain you that also. So normally, okay, let me copy the same example. Let me copy this example. Proceed. Let me close this. There is another example. There is another type of do loop where we uh, check the condition not in the front but at the end. If we do like this, what happens? The condition is not checked in the beginning, right? So do is uh, left and after after the first loop executes. After the first time it executes, it checks the condition here and it executes. So what if I take value is less than 10, right? So in this scenario, normally what happens, do until doesn't work with the false scenarios. But here, when the condition is checked at the bottom, it will execute at least once. So let me save this and let us see the interesting example here. So this is another type. Let me save this as uh, do. Sorry, I'll, tell you, I'll use camel case. Do until type two dot pbs. Close this and uh, let me double click two until two twice. Put the example here. Let me expand this. You can see clearly the value of a value variable is five. So when it got incremented, so I'll open the, uh, you have seen the example, right? Just me, let me open the code and explain you this example. Let me minimize, that is zoom out. Yeah. Let me open the example again. Let me explain you how it printed. Okay. The value is five here. Let me expand this. 
the value is 5 here so when it comes to this loop so do as we are not checking the condition here so value becomes temp temp well the variable is uh, so temp has some value right since we are not checking the condition in the beginning so temp has some value printed so temp is for temp the value of the value variable is uh, 5 so vblf so it got printed now value becomes value plus 1 so it becomes 6 so 6 is greater less than 10 condition is true so when the condition is true until do until loops works here so it comes down so temporary variable has what some value to be printed so at least the loop will execute once so this is kind of um, execute the barrier of do until but only once because the because the condition is not is checked at the bottom not on the uh, not the initial stages of the loop so at least once it will be executed let us say same scenario with uh, do until where condition is checked on the beginning of the loop let me close this let me come back again so let me edit this so let me execute let me put do until center what happens here the condition is checked in the beginning itself 5 is less than 10 which, which is always true so temp will have no value here so let me execute this double click it now yeah see nothing is there on the time so the condition is not printed even once right so let me edit this example let me just try greater uh, than zero for uh, for you guys to play around for different different examples let me open do until again uh, let me check another scenario so what happens if I give the greater than symbol, right? What happens here? So 5 is executed. From the 6 it will execute. So 5. So value becomes 6 here. 6 is greater than 10. Which is false. 7 is greater than 10. False. 8 is greater than 10. 9 is greater than 10. 10 is greater than 10. When it comes to 11. Then the condition becomes true then the loop terminates let us see this example here let me save this save close this let me execute this yeah see the code is exactly similar here to expand let me expand it the code you can see the value of the variable is 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 the value the uh, the code what and all printed is similar to the do until loop where the condition is checked in the beginning and in this example the type 2 where the condition is checked then the code the loop to similarly executes when the condition is given the bottom it will execute at least once hope you guys have understood uh, do until if you guys have still have doubts please let me know in the comments below so that we can discuss more and more scenarios i'll put the code in the description so that uh, you guys can take the code and uh, play around with different different examples and learn more about do until type 1 and type 2 examples okay um guys if you if you like this video please click on the like button if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe button till then guys have a great day bye bye